a Gucci diaper bag. <laughs> May pick up his first MVP tonight, as we just discussed. And in the offseason, he'll receive a Supermax contract offer from the Thunder, five years, 217. Now, Westbrook has a player option on the final year of the three-year $85 million deal he signed last summer after KD left that, if declined, would allow him to be a free agent in 2018. Here's ESPN's Royce Young earlier today reiterating the possibility of this time the Thunder breaking up with their superstar before another one breaks up with them first. What becomes complicated is if Westbrook does turn this down, he does become a free agent next summer. And what we could be looking at is the reigning MVP suddenly being on the trading block. Because if he turns down this contract extension, the Thunder are then facing the, the reality that they went through last summer, which is an MVP player, their franchise player, turning them down, and they cannot risk going into free agency and losing him for nothing. How worried should the Thunder and their fans be about that scenario? I think they should be worried. Look, a couple... Uh, when before Russ signed this most recent deal, um, I, I think when every time the question of the Lakers popped up, it, it always seemed kind of unreal, unrealistic to me. I, I know with the UCLA ties and everybody was thinking, well, Russell, he's uh, in, the brand, in his brand and fashion, and LA is obviously a city very ripe for that. But I think now, looking at the Lakers, they have their stuff together. They have a bright future, which everybody has noted, starting with who they just picked in the draft, with the cap money that they have this summer and next summer. I think L.A. is a really attractive option for somebody like Russell Westbrook. No? No, I, I just, why are you doing that? I'm not, what? What did I do? So, so we're going to put everybody in L.A.? We're going to put LeBron in L.A.? We're going to put Russell Westbrook I don't Westbrook know how much I believe that, but so I, I, mean, I think it's different this time around. I think the options that Russell Westbrook will have, they just look, it just feels a little bit different. So, I don't think he owes the Thunder anything also, by the way. I don't think it's anything to worry about, to be honest with you. Now, obviously, it's possible that he turns on the Supermax extension. And to Royce's point, the Thunder will have some decisions to make given how they were left high and dry last time. But just because of what happened, it's almost like in relationships when, you know, somebody dogs you out and now you hold it against everybody else that looks like them. <laughs> right. You're like, I don't date black men. Well, one black dude broke me harder. You're like, you just decide, I'm just never dating. You know what I mean? Or right. I, I can't date blondes. It's like, wait a minute. Right. Kevin Durant left for a unique set of circumstances because he drew a connection with those Warriors. Besides, he wanted to play with them. But it wasn't, to me, a referendum on Sam Presti or the job that the Thunder had done with constructing a team around him. So with that in mind, if you're Russell Westbrook, I think, I think we've underestimated Russell Westbrook's his substance, and I'm not saying that you're necessarily dis discrediting or disrespecting him. This is an him. indictment on him not liking. His brand Oklahoma is just City. fine without going to LA. I don't think it's about the brand. I think it will be about the situation. Well, well, I got no, you. I said I think before when the LA pop oh, question you. would pop up, people said, you. "Oh, he could be in a big market." But you think it's a basketball reason why to go to a LA or stand with I Sam Presti, who's a... proved the, the, how to be, be shrewd and develop or acquire talent? Not to and mention, he's also proved that he can lose big players. Well, again, that was unexpected. Kevin Durant. Just walking James for nothing. Harden, but in terms of the brand, though, if you're Russell Westbrook, well, that was different. If you're Russell Westbrook and you have built a brand in this past year off of, hey, the cupcake left for the Warriors, or you know, you know, real, real G's don't run away. If if you built your so brand, can you really? No, but I mean, you have a squad that you, you know, that's that's built to support you. And I don't think you can hold it against the Thunder that this year they weren't able to recover from Durant walking away and acquire somebody to replace Durant. I think if he gives Sam Presti an opportunity, his track record shows that he can acquire players. Maybe I'd love to see Blake Griffin end up there. I don't know how it could happen. I'd love to see him go back to Oklahoma and don't join up with happen. Russ. Point being, if you're Russell Westbrook, can you point a finger, even if it's subtly, uh, at, at Kevin Durant about leaving and then leave yourself? Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know if you, no, I, know if you I, I think do you that. can because you that just go said what you the situations are different because the issue was that the, was the fact that he joined the Warriors, a team that they were up on mm -hmm. and could have beaten in the playoffs. All that right. was the issue. Okay.